Hello there, and welcome. So this will be live stream number one here of April, uh, starting up a new routine where I start uh, recording, I'd say a live stream once every Sunday uh, or four times a month. Um, this isn't scripted uh, as far as like the planning process is uh, so far going to be very casual, relaxed, don't really have too much of a viewer base or like a subscriber base, so I'm just going to kind of do this on the fly and just see where this uh, takes us here. Um, not going to lie, a little nervous, haven't done this in a while, but um, yeah, we're going to see where it goes for today. Um, we're probably going to be running until 1250, so I'm not going to waste too much time here. Um, my name is Derek, uh, Derek Walker Media. Um, yeah, uh, as for today, we're going to do sort of an illustration of a scan of a sketch that I did a long time ago. Um, just going to kind of see where, uh, where this project gets us. So let's get rid of this here. Get rid of that. The 
drawing itself is <laughs> a cute little sketch. Uh, the idea is going to be the little naked mole rat is a little puppet in this little diorama. Uh, he's just going to kind of be destroying this little uh, diorama scene here. Um, don't know what I was thinking when I drew this. It was just kind of like a passing thought, I guess, in my sketchbook. But let's get started. I actually want to transform this. Handy little trick that I figured out the other day. Um, so I'm pretty new to, I say this all the time, like as far as the, the tricks go to um, Photoshop, I'm very new to it. Um, my background is more in traditional media, uh, more drawing and painting, more so drawing. Um, let me see what's on this light right here. I don't think there's anything on there. Um, but I've been taking the time to practice and pick up certain things here and there. So let me adjust my screen actually. Sorry if that was too noisy. So I'm going to start by, I'll use the chisel, I'm going to start by doing a quick sketch over the top layer here, and then we're going to try to just kind of retain the original drawing as much as possible, and then we're going to try to touch it up a little bit, see where a um, better composition would lie and just adjust as best we can and then recolor. If you're watching this at any point, hope things are well during that time. I know things are still a little crazy as the time of this recording, but I hope you're safe and healthy wherever you are. I'm not too worried with like the shapes of things and like where the head is actually placed right now because I can adjust that later. Um, I'm just going to kind of like get rid of the underdrawing for now and just see where that gets us. Because I want to, uh, usually when I, especially um, early on in my education when I went to school, I would become so obsessed with the drawing portion, the especially with paintings, like the draft underneath, that didn't even matter. Um, because you can kind of... Like, I used to be so very obsessed where everything was placed, and, you know, I would be pretty much doing a drawing rather than a painting. Um, so I'd spend so much time on trying to figure out um, where everything would be placed rather than just diving into the painting, like most people would suggest me to do at the time. So, so this live stream, uh, as I said in the description, is uh, a practice. Um, it's going to be kind of, in the future, I'd like to do, once I actually build uh, more of a community. I'd like to be able to actually have like nicer live streams to where um, we can have conversation, we can kind of like share what we're interested in um, and just, you know, have like a nice connected community, just conversation. I don't know if I want to. I 
actually. Yeah, that'll be okay. Just making sure if I should even continue to go forward with the painting portion, or the drawing portion of it. But I will, just so I can get it out of the way. And again, I'm not that worried about, like, my hands are shaky because I'm nervous, but um, I'm not too worried about the integrity of the line or anything at this point in time. I just want to get the basic little dr drawing out of the way because I'm noticing, too, the, uh, like, I have a texture to use here in a second, um, but I'm noticing that the scan itself is kind of like the paper, it's a little blotchy and dirty, and it's kind of driving me a little nuts, so <laughs> I'm going to get rid of it here in a second. Um, what else do I want to keep? I want to keep... And uh, something I remember saying in a previous uh, live stream that I did, like, it's probably like years ago now. Um, whenever it's almost like not necessarily but borders on like an insecurity of like oh there's probably plenty of uh digital artists out there who you know starting out just had so much better production quality or like even just the way that they use programs and they know these shortcuts to where i'm just kind of like crudely coming in and just doing the best i can which is fine you know everyone has to get somewhere when they start but um I remember saying before how I was like, well, if you're a, if you're like an illustrator or like a artist who uses this a lot, they're probably like looking at the way that I do things kind of backwards going, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, that's kind of like a problem here too as well. It says there's one viewer here. I'm not sure how true that is. It might just be myself. I'm thinking that's just saying it's me. But if you are here, I don't mind you saying hello, just so I know. If not, that's fine. Either way. Tell I'm not as nervous anymore here. Of the line, my hand isn't shaking as much. <laughs> um, and then as far as the, I'm thinking as far as the landscape goes down here, I may change it. But I kind of like that it's a rocky, craggy. Maybe I'll keep like the initial. I'll keep this here. I definitely like this pine tree, so I think I'll keep the pine tree. Just kind of suggest that this is the pine tree here. that for now in case I need it for later, but there is the layer here, which will be the multiply. That's something I learned. Um, so <clears throat> I could be getting this completely wrong, but uh, 
I have a texture that I have here that's like a more of a hot press paper slash like canvas texture um, and it's really interesting so that like uh, when you hit multiply anything that you paint over the top of it uh, generally pops through as a texture so here you can kind of tell it looks like sort of a canvas um, so when I go to select a certain brush like a watercolor brush that I like to use it will um, Let's try thin wash. Yeah, it should be good. Um, like, just say I want to do um, clouds back here. The thin wash will be like. Oh, that's too thin. That's too thin. But you can tell it kind of like pops through. The texture is still there. So that, like, the thin uh, wash shows over through it which I think is amazing and I think it's really cool. Um, when I first learned how to do that, it blew my mind even at like how simple it is. Because it's one thing to be able to use traditional media and just to kind of like actually taking a piece of paper with watercolor and painting it on a piece of paper. It's like one thing to do that, but it's to me, it's like a whole nother thing to try to find. It's almost like a, a different method in the ways of finding how to do it that makes any sense. So I just, I find it interesting. Color it on here. I'm gonna do that for his tone. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do Usually, too, like, um, usually I'm a stickler for, you know, obviously keeping color within the lines, too, but um, lately I've been trying to, especially for uh, times like now, learning how to, um, like, even now I feel like I'm kind of taking my time and not moving quick enough, um, but times like these, I feel like it's necessary to practice moving a little quicker and not having to be working like this is a precious object or something when it's just kind of like a fun sketch it's something I'm persistently conscious of so like later I can come through since it's on its own layer later I can come through and actually take the time to um, erase anything that's outside the edges where it shouldn't be so it's not that much of an issue especially for the general layer over the top. Like so. It's pretty easy to do it that way. And then when it really comes down to it later, um, I will probably use more of an oil-based brush where it actually, um, a lot of the time, turns out looking like an actual um, painting, which is kind of nice. So I always see that as being a, like I always see this as being like a nicer tool to um, practice painting without actually having to use the materials, because sometimes it behaves the same way, which I find interesting. Um, and so it's like a really fancy, simulation almost <laughs> of trying to paint. Whoops. Sometimes I click buttons and I have no idea what I'm clicking. So forgive me. But yeah, uh, in the future, like, you know, people probably say it all the time and I know I've said it plenty of times in the past, but you know, there's only so much talking you can do when it's to yourself a lot of the time so it's just kind of 
it's a practice in itself of um, you know like talking and painting at the same time so I don't know especially it's funny too if you if you do this long enough you realize just like when you think about it it's just like how much you actually talk to yourself when you're uh, when you're trying to develop content online because you know most of the time you are talking to yourself so it's just kind of funny to think back and you're like oh well you know I do talk to myself a lot I haven't really thought through like the colors either like I'm not sure like I like that his eyes look crazy like eventually gonna they're gonna be like stylized button eyes but I like how crazy they look <laughs> So I'm thinking that I'll probably do for now. But that is a kind of a good question to raise. Uh, sometimes there's like pet peeves that everyone has when it comes to, um, you know, their own form of drawing or like how they like to develop things. But is that something that, you know, whoever may be watching this future, is this something that uh, bothers you? Like when you see somebody go outside the lines, <laughs> it's sort of the idea where, um, I guess like when you come to a coloring book, um, and some people are so meticulous, like they go in and they're just like, okay, I gotta be like the perfect point to color it in absolutely perfectly like this. Whereas, and then just going in and filling in the line, whereas like other people would be like triggered by the idea of just being like, yeah, that looks good. You know, I'm just going to color it like that. Like, I don't know. I feel like that might be the case for some, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Like, seeing it too, like, I look at it from, like, how meticulous I go, and I know that this does, in a way, this does bother me. But in, uh... But recently, some exciting news here. Uh, finally started a business, which is why I'm finally getting around to being on here now. Uh, finally started my business officially. Terrified, um, but very excited to buy the venture. Um, it just kind of happened really, really quickly. So I just kind of jumped into it and I was like, all right, you know, I want this to happen, so, and I've been thinking about it for a long time and slowly working towards it, but it's finally time to take the dive and go for it, so it's just, it's really exciting, but at the same time, it's such a big, such a big thing that I'm kind of like, oof. But yeah, it's definitely really exciting. Um, pretty again like I'm pretty inexperienced at this type of thing like I'm generally like kind of a I don't know I would say like I'm a private per, per private person you know I'm generally pretty introverted but like I have my moments where it's obviously I'm I can be outgoing in a crowd like I enjoy conversation and I enjoy hanging out with people um, but I'm new to like certain 
online platforms and like social scenes like I'm not even one to like I prefer to have conversations in person um, so like usually for things especially when they're important ones like I prefer to have conversations in person I don't really enjoy having long text message chains um, which is surprising though in the sense that like now I have to now I'm building an online business and it's like completely goes against what I'm used to, <laughs> which is funny, but um, it's just another, I guess just another learning curve here for me is uh, just figuring out, because it's, it's such an overwhelming process, because it's like, not only do you have to worry about like improving your craft and making something that actually is like, uh, you know, something that's quality, especially since you've declared like, oh, this is my profession. Um, not only do you want to create something of quality, but like at the same time, you have to work on yourself like professionally and personally so that you can actually run a business and know how to like market and do all these things while having to be like, oh, I'm, I've mastered this craft in some way, you know? So it's just like, it's a lot, it's a lot. I say challenge accepted, but it's a lot. I'm, I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. There's a lot of perks to, um, I'd say, working from home like I am. Uh, but at the same time, it's like also really, really challenging. But, you know, a lot of these things you'd like assume you'd think would go without saying because it's like, well, of course, of course it's, you know, of course it's nice working from home. But a lot of, I think a lot of people kind of like, dismiss the amount of work that goes into it and like the amount of especially at first like it doesn't take long to adjust but the amount of discipline like a few years ago just to develop that like how easy it is to be like wow I'm tired I'm just gonna go uh sit in my room and work and it's like for me that does not work <laughs> as soon as I like retire to the room on my iPad I'm like oh I work a lot slower I just oh I'm just gonna do this for fun or so like years ago, I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna work. So like now I'm committed to, if I have like serious projects only sitting here like I am now, but. This looks really ugly. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I like that this naked mole rat is very like gross right now, but uh, I think it's kind of cute at the same time. I wonder about, uh, a lot of the things I do, I think, are kind of weird and quirky, which, you know, is just my personality. My personality is, like, very hit or miss with people, I think. Because um, sometimes they're like... I always assume from an, from my perspective, people are like, oh, he's either, like, really, really funny or he's just insane or, you know. So I always wonder about things like that where I'm like, why do I find this? Like, I wonder, I'm like, why do I, find, why do I like this right now? Just those weird situations. Fun fact, if you press harder on this, it actually produces a wash, which I did not know until now. That's pressing very lightly. That is really cool. I like that a lot. Um, in the future, I was thinking about... Um, doing actual traditional media, so uh, drawing, painting, and doing a setup that way, but I do know that, um, like my phone camera is pretty nice, but as far as my other camera goes, it's good at taking pictures, it's just not very good at taking uh, videos, which is sadly something I figured out after I bought it. Uh, I've done videos with it in the past and I can always tell the difference between my phone and the video on the camera. So I just decided not to use that camera for filming anymore. Just because even as I set it to the proper settings, for whatever reason, it just it's really fuzzy in quality and I just don't enjoy it. So I think that if I do it, I'm going to do it through my phone somehow, which I think I can do. But um, I, I kind of want to see how that works out doing um, 
actual drawings. Like, e not even, like, from scratch either, because a lot of the time I, I picture that being boring. Like, this one is... Like, I already had the sketch, but it's taking me so long just to even just color the basics in. So I kind of want to, the next time I do a live stream, start something that's a little bit more farther along, so it's not, like, as boring of an experience. Um, but we'll see... We'll see what that comes to. Because I'm keeping track of time here. We'll be done at 12.50, and we're already almost done with this stream. So, like, I'd have to say, too, for the next stream, um, maybe that would be the better option, now that I think about it, to have something a little bit more farther along. Or, what I think about sometimes is, uh, if it's a stream where it's like, okay, we do it four times a month, like, especially since it's going to be exclusive in the future to Patreon, like, I'm wondering, um, if it's, like, more of a vote to where it's like, okay, we're going to do the drawing session today together, but, um, will continue the same drawing throughout the month, and then that way they have something to show for it at the end of the the end of the month. There, I'm thinking that would be kind of nice, but that's all up for uh, that's all up for the audience, I suppose. Eventually. <clears throat> Um, even though it's going to show through here, just for the sake of a general idea. Yeah, it's going to show through and it's kind of ugly. But um, just for the sake of a general idea, I'm going to sketch this in to show that it's a hill. We'll do that. And I'm going to try to bring the, the size of the brush up here. I know that it's slow. Yeah, it's slow on my end. Like when I color it in, it's like very, very delayed. So I try to use these effects sparingly because sometimes when I use it and the brush is too large, it makes the program crash and it's very sad when it happens. So I'm actually gonna, just because, I'm actually gonna save it here. I'm gonna save it in my computer so that the next time I go to do this, it's gonna save it to my, um, yeah, I'll replace it because it's not that important. Um, that way, the next time I go to play with this, in case it does crash, um, it won't be that big of a deal. I can just open it back up. See how it's like, makes me nervous. As soon as I see that pen wheel, I panic. <laughs> I look at it, I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> So I like to use these brushes sparingly, especially like the higher the resolution for the or for the program or the file, it uh, it's like 400 I think 400 dots per inch. So that's when you have an effect with a lot of grain and uh, texture to it, it slows it down a lot. So if you do use this program, be wary of it. Um, so let's see what this looks like without the outline. Gross. So <laughs> now would be a fun time to, well, we have, what, 15 more minutes left? Um, I'm going to do the oil paint, or the oil portion of the painting. Um, let me just color in the nose here real quick, just so I have an idea where that is. And with the oil portion of it, like it's fun to be gestural, and it's fun to play around with texture as you're going over the top, because that's where the um, drawing or the painting comes to life a little bit more is when you start doing, like there's a whole process to this I'm sure, but like, and I do it a different way every time just to play with it because it is new to me, um, but I'm just curious to see where this goes. I usually use the same brush every time too, because I'm boring when it comes to this part of it. Um, let's do the top, let's do the top texture.
Didn't know there was any lyrics in this playlist, I apologize. It was kind of surprising. I was like, wait a minute. So, actually, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this outline. So if you are stopping by today and watching this, I thank you. Um, definitely going to be working to make these better. Um, the more I work on things like this, like even just uh, maybe even having something planned to talk about next time, not even just the content material, but maybe even just something particular planned to talk about. Um, again, like viewer input in the future makes these things easier. but. Um, Maybe that's what I'll do next time too as well. Think on it and see what I can come up with. Because a lot of the time too, like, it's tough. It's tough because it's like I want to build, um, want to build like a uh, experience that's enjoyable and helpful at the same time. But a lot of the time to do that, like, you have to have experience along the way. And it's, I, I can imagine it being especially me going through it now, like tough for people who are newer to be able to do that. Um, especially when it comes to something where it's like, oh, well, I'm new at streaming, but I'm also new at using this medium, and I just kind of want to use it as practice um, to fill as many facets as possible. So it's kind of hard to be like, all right, so why should you be watching this again? You know? And that's where I say, like, um, for these especially, like, more of a laid-back, relaxed experience of just kind of, like, this being the time to hang out with the viewers and hang out with the patrons to be, like, okay, a relaxed environment to just chat. And this here you can see is where the, uh, it's not initially like the first initial layer that's the best quality when it comes to this, but it's the, uh, the second when you start beginning to add the second layer over the top, that's where you get like those really, really nice blending options. So you can like come in and be like, okay, here we go. So if you really wanted to work quickly to build the depth in the shadow, you can come in and be like, all right, here we go. Like you don't necessarily want to go like the black of blacks here, especially since you want to grade A, like the black probably come in about roughly right here. Um, so you want to like grade it, but yeah, this, this brush here is really, really nice when you're trying to 
uh, create that painterly effect. It's more of the oil portion. Just by adding like these solid layers, they like slowly comes to life. As creepy as it looks, it slowly comes to life. That's the case with a lot of drawings and a lot of paintings is that like, you know that like you reach a certain point with them to where it's just like, wow, you reach the messiest part. But like the trick to most painting and most drawing is like getting it to a certain point to where it's like, all right, it's a complete mess, but then how do I, you know, bring it back to those subtle details again? Because at first you have to, like with oil painting especially, you have to put down the layers, you have to put down, like, uh, the form, and then eventually with layers, after, or like layer and layer and layer, you eventually get to a point where it just looks like a mess, and then it's like the real craft kicks in, and you're like, okay, now it's time to pull it back. You know, I'm not... I, Again, I talk to, like, I'm a big master of oil paints. I am not. I find them beautiful, but uh, I generally work with, like, watercolors, and I'm expanding into acrylics, but, you know, my experience with oil has been like that, though. But I feel... Like, you have to put the time into this, I know, but I feel myself uh, having the urge to just sit here and begin shading the, the gum line, but I know that I don't want to do that because that's, I don't want to become obsessed with detail right away. So a good idea would be to do what I said and go in and build the form, um, but I don't think I want to make it like it's a sketch. I don't know. Again, maybe I'll maybe I'll actually because I'll definitely post this later. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do is just kind of do a post where it shows the the completed image. But the idea again was uh, creating the diorama, <laughs> um, and so it's a little puppet who comes through and destroys this little diorama here. Um, I think I lost my tree when I did that. Didn't I? But yeah, hopefully this is, again, hopefully this is something I can build into more of an enjoyable experience. Um, if you're watching this uh, at any point, again, um, I hope things are pretty stable where you are. Um, hope things are going well. Um, and again, I hope this improves over time for you. so ugly <laughs> it's kind of cute at the same time it's one of those things where it's just like wow this is really ugly but it's kind of cute um so the idea the remainder i guess we have a few minutes left um let me just sketch this out some whiskers. Um, yeah, so if you've stumbled along this at any point, um, thank you for watching. 
Uh, I appreciate it. Every little... I know eventually I'd like to actually have the official... Um, like the channel fully acknowledged and verified. So like the idea is like in order to even get this rolling, you have to have, um, what is it? 4,000 hours of view time. So hopefully I can work on uh, improving the experience here, you know, making, making it something worth watching. And then that way we can get the ball rolling and have a little bit of a, enjoyable experience here. Let's see. So the only really thing, I'm trying to think of the last little bit here before I put this away, last little bit of detail to put in, but maybe it'll be like, uh, kind of want it to be like the, to the effect of birds, but if it's a puppet and a diorama, I'm curious how that would be. So I remember that these are button eyes. Little button eyes. Using some neck rolls in here. And maybe like a seam. Yeah. yeah. Um, again, I thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to take care out there. Um, trying to think of anything that I was going to say before signing off here. Um, I'm going to do a better job of uh, making this presentable again. I know I can't say it enough. Uh, thank you again for joining me today. Um, I hope, uh, and I guess you can even just, if you're watching this at any point, just throw a comment and give me a little bit of feedback to say, you know, what would you like to see in a live stream or um, where could I be better in this department? Like, I know before I've been in a nervous state of energy and I just like talked and talked and talked through it and a lot of it just kind of like, you know, becomes a babble after a while. Whereas this one, it was more of uh, a different approach and just try to be a little bit more relaxed and um, have a more enjoyable experience myself with it. Uh, I was a little nervous at first, but I'm sure that's going to go away um, as time goes on once I become more used to it again. Um, but yeah, if you think that there's anything I can improve on, just let me know. Um, again, take care. Uh, thank you for showing up. Uh, yeah, and be safe out there. Uh, this live stream um, will begin again in another week. It'll be live stream number two for April. Um, but yeah, until then, make sure you take care, and I'll see you around. Bye.